Recently, over Thanksgiving and Black Friday, there were several outstanding Ryzen deals. And today being Cyber Monday and the holiday season coming up right now, there are definitely going to be several more outstanding Ryzen deals. However, despite these savings, does it make sense to buy a Ryzen CPU right now with Zen 2 being so close? So, starting off with some specs, Zen 2 will definitely be on the 7 nanometer process which AMD has confirmed. Intel on the other hand is still on the 14 nanometer process with Coffee Lake which just launched like 2 months ago and they are still struggling to get on a 10 nanometer process. Even if they do get on the 10 nanometer process, AMD's Zen 2 will still be the most architecturally advanced CPU out there because it's on the 7 nanometer process. AMD has officially claimed an IPC boost of 29% over Zen 1 to be expected on Zen 2. This is not as good as Zen 1 over Piledriver, which was a whopping 52%, but this is still very, very impressive. As far as 16 cores go, I really just don't see that coming on to mainstream Ryzen, because it really makes no sense. 10 cores, maybe 12 cores, but even that is more than what most gamers and the average consumer really needs. So there is really no need to cram that much power into mainstream CPU. Also, a 10 or 12 core CPU was actually a potential way for AMD to fight back against Intel if they were to launch a nice 8 core 16 thread CPU on the mainstream platform like the 9900K. However, the 9900K is so expensive that AMD does not need to release a 10 or 12 core CPU on the mainstream platform in order to compete. They can continue to just make octa-core CPUs at a great price. As for clock speed, the engineering samples are showing a base clock of 4GHz and an all-core turbo of 4.5GHz. That's really impressive and that's just an engineering sample. With the final product, given sufficient cooling, we should be able to hit 4.7 to 5GHz, especially given the new smaller production process which increases efficiency. Overall, I would say that we can expect a 15-20% to increase over Zen 1 on Zen 2. Also, we should see better RAM support as well. As far as release date goes, AMD has been very consistent with their release dates. With the first generation of Ryzen, it came out at the beginning of March, and the second generation of Ryzen came out in mid-April. So for Zen 2, we can expect an official reveal of all the specs during the end of February, and CPU should be hitting the market at March or April. For Threadripper, we will probably see an official reveal at the end of July, and a launch near the beginning of August. But for most of you guys, that is irrelevant and you guys just care about mainstream Ryzen. So all of that is cool and all, but how much is this going to cost and is it worth waiting for? Well, AMD has always been very good on pricing and I don't think that, that is going to change with Zen 2. With first generation Ryzen, the top model, the 1800X, came out for an MSRP of $500. For second generation Ryzen, the top model, the 2700X, came in for an MSRP of $330. Plus, the 2700X had a really nice stock cooler included with it. Due to this being a new process and thus requiring a lot of research and thus associated cost, I think that the top end CPU, at least the top end octa core CPU, may be a bit more expensive than second generation Ryzen. The 3700X may be priced at $400 with the lower end 3700 coming in at $330, and any higher core count CPU like a 3800X may come in at $450 or $500. Based on that, I really expect the overall pricing structure of Ryzen to be about the same as the previous two generations. Plus, Ryzen CPUs are almost always $50 off on Amazon. So what about the competition? Well, at this point, there's really only one mainstream CPU which can compete with the Ryzen 3700X, which is the Intel i7-9700K. Well, there is the 9900K, but at the price point that the 9900K is being offered for, which is right now $740. I really wouldn't even consider it a mainstream CPU. You can get a Ryzen Threadripper 1950X which has double the cores and double the threads for $150 cheaper than 9900K. So it really just doesn't make any sense at all. And with the 9700K, Intel's main lead over the 2700X was clock speed since the 9700K is lacking hyper threading and only having 8 cores and 8 threads. However, with that gap being closed with the 3700X, the Intel i7-9700K really stands no chance against the Zen 2. An 8-core, 8-thread CPU at 5GHz shouldn't lose to an 8-core, 16-thread CPU at 4.7GHz in any given task, unless optimization is absolutely terrible, 
but I highly doubt that. And of course, the 3700X will mostly come in at a cheaper price than the 9700K, come with a nice stock cooler, and be able to overclock on cheaper motherboards. As a result, until the release of Intel's new CPUs at the end of next year, whether that's going to be Ice Lake or Kenny Lake or whatever they want to call it, Ryzen 2 is definitely going to be the best mainstream CPU available, and this time not just in terms of value, but also performance. So that pretty much covers everything about Zen 2. So should you wait for it? Well, if you're looking for a high-end octa-core CPU and you don't really care about saving 50 to 100 bucks and you care more about having the best thing available, then you should definitely wait for Zen 2. Zen 2 is going to be absolutely fantastic and the next couple of generations are only going to be incremental upgrades over Zen 2, so you won't have to worry about something big coming out over the next couple of years. However, if you are looking for a solid CPU that will last you several years and you would like to save some money if possible, then I recommend going ahead and buying a Ryzen CPU right now or over the next couple of months during the holiday season. Because Zen 2 CPUs are not going to be offered at these prices, and 2000 series CPUs are by no means inferior. 2000 series CPUs are already outstanding, and AMD is just taking it a step even further. But that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So what do you guys think? What clock speeds do you think Zen 2 will achieve? And how many cores do you think will be on the top end CPU? Make sure to post down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, I'll see you guys on the next one.